Welcome to Fox TV News, where everything is true. Former MP calls for investigation at Mandeville Regional Hospital. The People's National Party functionaries are calling for inquiry into the operations of the Mandeville Regional Hospital amid claims that a mother and her child died there because of lack of urgent attention. Former MP for Clarendon Northwestern Richard Azan outlined what he said were matters of concern surrounding aspects of the hospital's operation. Mr. Azan highlighted a case of a mother and child died at the hospital because of lack of urgent attention. He also outlined further reported challenges while reiterating his call for an investigation to take place and expressing sympathy to the family members who have lost loved ones due to negligence at hospitals across the island. A family's gloom. Her family would have been celebrating her 20th birthday with her on Sunday, but instead, they were left in gloom with just memories and conversations about her funeral. Mona Ann Forbes, a Garvey Massey High School graduate who was preparing to start nursing school next year, was one of three people killed in a two-vehicle collision on Melrose Hill Bypass in Manchester last Friday morning. Christine Forbes, Mona Ann's cousin, told reporters that it was a brutal loss and a brutal time. It's just really hurtful. It's really painful. It's psychological. It's emotional. It's physical. Because I think we are as hurt as well as we're upset. We feel as if we were just robbed of an opportunity with her. Today, we would have been celebrating her birthday, and now we're here planning for a funeral, and it was just carelessness and negligence, he said. Police reported that about 11 a.m., the taxi, a Toyota Wish muzzle car, was traveling along Melrose Hill Bypass towards Mandeville when a collision occurred with a Hyundai H1 minibus going in the opposite direction. The identities of two men who died in the crash have not yet been ascertained. Forbes said it makes it harder for the family to know that, had the motorists involved been following the road guidelines, the tragedy could have averted. She would have been here with us today. It's painful. It's the worst thing I have ever experienced. It's the worst thing my family has ever experienced. It's just so bad. No, it's happened to the Forbes family. Tomorrow, it's going to happen to another family. Yesterday, it was another family. So it's almost as if it's just an unending crisis on our roads, she lamented. Mona had dreams. Just three weeks ago, I was talking to her and she told me about her intentions to start nursing school next year. And I encouraged her, saying, whenever she's ready, we are here to support her. She had her whole life ahead of her and she was just robbed of that opportunity because of a careless move. If it's Mesam, Mona and grandmother told reporters that it is hard to come to terms with what was happening. Mona has been a bond of joy and happiness. Watching her grow is an absolute pleasure. Saying goodbye to my granddaughter is next to impossible, but I will see, dance with the angels, baby girl, and happy birthday. Lasoria Thomas, another cousin, said Mona was a beautiful person inside as she was outside. She was ripped from us by this awful tragedy. The beautiful memories of her will be forever each in our hearts. She was loved by all and will surely be missed by all. Police report that 10 people were admitted at hospital and three others treated and released. Meanwhile, Forbes maintained that someone should be held accountable for the death of her cousin and the other victims. It can't go like that. Two other persons died in that incident. Their families are also grieving and it's just really bad. It could have been so much worse. It was really brutal for us to see our little Mona go that way. It's just too much, she said. Up to Friday, November 4, 385 people have died in 391 fatal collisions, according to the Road Safety Unit, or SEO. Data compiled by a Global Road Safety Facility showed that 75% of road fatalities and injuries in Jamaica are in the economically productive age group between 15 and 64 years. Country MPs are a special breed, says Margon. Member of Parliament for Clarendon North Central, the Jamaica Labour Party's Robert Morgan, has described country world MPs as a special breed. Morgan made the remark during his recent contribution to the State of the Constituency debate. Our constituencies are vast and diverse. Farming, manufacturing, food processing, transportation, and entertainment are big industries for the country's MPs, said Morgan. According to him, by any measure, we have more votes than other constituencies, more water issues, more light electricity issues, more issues with the internet, and more issues with transportation. Morgan, who was one of the last MPs to make a presentation in the constituency debates,
told his colleagues that I sat here for the most of the presentations and I am proud to be on the side with MPs who have dedicated their lives to the importance of their countrymen. I am more proud of the country's MPs who travel hundreds of miles every month to spread the good words and deeds of a government that cares, a government led by the most consequential leader in modern Jamaica and Jamaican wholeness. Continuing, Markham said, we are confident and sure that despite the challenges many of us first-term MPs have inherited, we know we have a leader with the vision, wisdom and understanding to navigate our complex world with the intuitiveness of craft policy, plans and programs that are substantive and substantial. We are developing Jamaica. We are transforming Jamaica. We are building a better country and society. PNP purging their goals of 2015 says Tufton. Minister of Health and Wellness Dr. Christopher Tufton has blasted the opposition People's National Party PNP, which in recent time has intensified its call for him to resign after 12 babies died from the resistant bacteria at the Victoria Jubilee Hospital, VGH. I can only wonder whether or not this organization is not going through a source of ecosystem or purge of their own goals of 2015, said Tufton. He was addressing a Jamaica Labour Party era council for a meeting at the Bethel Primary School in Hopewell, Hanover, Sunday evening. Tufton was referring to what is known as the dead baby scandal, in which 18 preterm babies in the public hospital system died. The then Health Minister, Dr. Fenton Ferguson, was removed from his post by the Prime Minister at the time, Portia Sinsa Miller, after public pressure and stringent calls from the then opposition GLP. Now the GLP claims the two situations are different and party has close ranks behind Tufton. Following the recent revelation of the deaths of, at VJH, Tufton was flirted by failing to advise the nation until after the story became public. Last week, the PNP led a series of demonstrations across Jamaica as the party intensified its calls for the minister to resign or being fired by Prime Minister Andrew Holness. On Sunday evening, Astrid and Tufton directly addressed the PNP. I respect the opinions that you offer and those opinions are important in our, in our democracy, but don't use me to experience your own purging based on your regrets of some of the decisions that you have taken, he said. The reality is that they have a bigger problem, and if I were there, I am not, and I am happy I am not, I would seek to address the bigger problem that they have. And you know what that bigger problem is. The people of Jamaica prefer the leadership of Andrew Honey's administration and what we have provided over the last couple of years, Tufton said. He said he has gotten the sense of desperation is setting in within the PNP because only desperate could cause someone to gather people together to protest. The minister noted that while it is the right to protest, the opposition runs the risk of scaring the Jamaican people from visiting our health institutions through false narrative or exaggerated narratives. He maintained that the country's healthcare system is better. It was what when the PNP was in power. We have been through more trials, tribulations and challenges than they ever went through and we have been able to manage it and to ensure that the Jamaican people are safe. That is why the Jamaican people prefer the Jamaica Labour Party and their leadership, and that is a problem that they have stated Tufton. He pointed to the upgrading of hospitals and clinics across the country as proof of the work done by the Andrew Honest led administration. Last year, Tufton noted there were nearly 3 million visits to public health institutions approximately, 1.6 million of which were to health centers, clinics, and 1.4 million visits to hospital. More than 180,000 people were inpatient hospitalized for less than five days because of fierce ailments. Tufton said 98% were treated in the public health system by Jamaican doctors and nurses and went back home to their loved ones. The rest, for whatever reason, were dispatched to the morgue. And we regret that, but the system works for most of the people most of the time, he stated. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and click the notification bell.